Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Mark 10, 52. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. This was a case of a blind man who asked Jesus to heal him. And Jesus said, Go, your faith has healed you. So what healed the man? Well, we are told, friends, that his faith healed him. So do you have the faith of this man? What kind of faith this blind man had so that he received his faith? Well, this is what we call an active faith. He believed, friends, that Jesus can heal. But he did not just stay there and wait for the Lord Jesus Christ to pass by and do nothing. When he heard about the Lord Jesus Christ coming by, our friends, he called on the name of the Lord. He said that, Jesus, son of David, heal me, have mercy on me. Friends, he kept shouting. The people tried to stop him, say that, don't bother the teacher. But all the more friends that he kept shouting. See the faith of this man? He was not deterred by anything. Not the people around him that are trying to stop him. No, he said that, no. This is my opportunity to witness the grace of God. And so, friends, all the more that he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Or friends, that's the kind of faith that God wants us to have. Jesus will be looking for those kind of faith, friends. That you are not distracted by anything, not by people around you, not by your situation, friends. He could not see. Friends, he was just walking by faith. He just heard about Jesus coming. Could he see Jesus coming? No. But because of that, friends, he just shouted, believing, friends, that he will be heard in the end. And Jesus heard him. And so how about you today? How would you like to receive your healing? Friends, why don't you call on the name of the Lord? We are told that whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, will be healed. Friends, why don't you call on the name of the Lord? Demonstrate your faith. It's good to know that you got faith. Oh, I got faith in God. But make it active, friends. Apply it. Do the work. Amen. So, friends, today, why don't you call on the name of the Lord? The louder you call, well, the better. And don't call only once. People will tell you, no, stop it. You called enough. No, just keep praying. That's the reason why we are told, pray without ceasing. Because if we do, so, friends, the Lord will hear our cry. And he would stop. In this case, he stopped and said, call him. So they called the man. And Jesus said, what do you want me to do for you? I want to see. And Jesus told him, go, your faith has healed you. Or friends, don't stop until you receive that message. Go, your faith has healed you. And after the man was healed, friends, well, he did not stop there and just keep shouting, oh, I'm healed, no. He followed the Lord Jesus Christ along the way. So once you are blessed, friends, follow the Lord. Amen. He had healed you. He had given you what you've been asking for. Then follow him and serve him. Amen. That's the way to go. Don't just depart as if he did not do anything to you. That you don't even want to serve him. Friends, remember who blessed you. Do not forget the one who restored you. Serve him faithfully. Amen. So friends, my prayer for you today is continue to call on the name of the Lord and you will be healed. According to your faith, you are healed. According to your faith, you are restored. According to your faith, you are delivered. Whatever blessing you want today, friends, receive it. According to your faith, call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace, His shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.